If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to cover this topic because this has been a rough week for me personally, for a lot of people out there that have watched YouTube completely censor them as they try to smoke us all off the internet. They want to smoke us back into the matrix, those of us that are doing this full time. And I'll tell you right now, it's looking more and more likely that channels like this are going to be forced offline because people don't understand the severity of what they're doing to us. It's like going to work and then suddenly not receiving a paycheck for working. That's what they're doing to all of us who are relying on income here. So we continue to expose the truth as if it wasn't hard enough already to expose the truth with the stuff that it does to your mind, how it wears you out. You know, Doing this is very difficult every day. The darkness, looking into all this stuff and exposing it, it really wears you out. And now on top of it, they have completely censored us and taken away our revenue stream So now we have to worry about how we're going to pay our bills for the month and things like that. That's why I constantly recently am asking people to please look into being a Patreon for this channel and help support it. I'm going to be doing a video about the YouTube boycott that's going on later on. But back to the topic at hand, I wanted to talk about it because I was thinking about how free speech is just being crapped on, how YouTube is deliberately doing this, not caring about how much money they lose. So while they take freedom of speech from people such as myself who are giving an opposite opinion of the mainstream media, who are questioning the things that we see, who are exposing these symbols that they don't want exposed, which just shows you this why the censorship is being done. It's because those of us talking about this stuff are speaking the truth, and we are reaching a massive amount of people. There are so many people waking up. So while that gets censored, you know what can go on in America? You know what organizations can exist? Organizations like NAMBLA. They're allowed to have free speech. They're allowed to roam free. What's NAMBLA, some of you might ask? I'm sure most of you have heard of it. The North American Man-Boy Love Association, which is allowed to exist, which is allowed to be an organization which receives donations. They probably receive millions in donations because you know who's donating to them and making sure that they stay open. So for those of you wondering about NAMBLA, Before I show you some clips from a documentary that was made on NAMBLA so you could see these sick people who roam free, who don't have their free speech taken away, who are allowed to protest, who are allowed to go to parades, who are allowed to exist, when channels like this with just an opinion aren't allowed to have an opinion that's different than the media's. It is a pedophile advocacy organization in the U.S. It works to abolish age of consent laws criminalizing adult sexual involvement with minors and campaigns for the release of men who have been jailed for sexual contacts with minors that did not involve coercion. The group no longer holds regular national meetings as of the late 90s to avoid local police infiltration. The organization discouraged the formation of local chapters. In other words, they're just hiding, probably inside of Masonic lodges, underneath Catholic churches. Because just like people thought that witches... And Satanists didn't exist anymore, that that was a thing of the past. They just decided to give up the practice of this satanic religion and these sacrifices that have been going on for a really long time. They just vanished off the face. They hid. And that's what they do with NABA. They hide because they're still out there. They're still actively posting on their website. You want to get sick? Look at this website, NAMBLA. A little boy holding his hand up to a man. This isn't a father and a son. This is some strange creep man and a little boy. How about this for disgusting and disturbing free speech being allowed and non-censored? Look at this. Stories of man-boy love. Shouldn't everyone who affiliates with this organization, whoever the website creator, shouldn't these people be in jail for doing this? Look at this, man-boy love is as old as love itself, and stories of it have been told for thousands of years. 
Through these stories, we can gain insights into the nature of man-boy relationships in various manifestations and social settings. Fiction, nonfiction, fictionalized accounts based on true stories all impart truths that are elided and suppressed in the popular media. The stories linked below include all these forms and represent, I mean, look at, look at these stories. Acquainted with the, I mean, this is just, this is the world we live in now. And what's scary about it is more of these people who are liberal or, you know, conservative are angry with people such as myself for questioning these things, for seeing symbols and exposing it, for spending years researching, you know, the dark path that all these people are going down. All these people are, you know, who are in control live by. And we're all insane. We're crazy. They don't want us to have a right to speak because they've gotten all riled up by fake news. And the internet, YouTube, they don't care how many millions of dollars they lose because they print money. I mean, the Federal Reserve is backing. I mean, the same people are controlling these organizations are in, you know, controlling the Federal Reserve. They can print money at ease. So they know by smoking us out, it's the only option that they really have to silence us is to get us, you know, in a job for 40 or 50 hours a week. So instead of making two to three videos a day, people like myself can only make one a week, if that, two a week. It's absolutely unbelievable. But Nambla exists. This is a documentary on Nambla, okay? I believe it was shot in the 80s. Listen to some of this stuff from this guy. You will throw up on yourself. But keep in mind, this organization is allowed to have free speech and exist in America. General, there are lots of boys that precisely want to do that. That is what they want to do. They make it clear, and they simply do it. They don't... That is to uh, give a blowjob. That's what to give head, as the saying goes. That's what they want to do, and they do it. That is, this boy simply did it in a magnificently gentle, tender sort of way, in which you could sense he was putting his whole heart and life into this experience. That is what was so exceptional about it, and. It produced a uh, remarkable sensation and, I may say, a rather speedy climax in spite of the fact that it was being done in such a gentle way. What is the fantasy? What, uh, what, what the thoughts come into your mind in, in such a time? Curiously, the most powerful feelings that are evoked are religious feelings. I want to sing praises to the Almighty for having created anything so beautiful, so spectacularly wonderful. This is what is going on in me. Six six zero plus the last four digits of that phone, and that'll do it. Yeah, yeah very good. Anybody else? Oh goodness, okay. Yeah, I'll the phone. That'll that'll be our secret then. No, not the radio. He was so eager to tell me when his birthday was, and he was going to be 15 in less than a month on the 1st of December, and uh, this is what life is about. This is what real life is about. I would say that he was in bloom, and that's it. The flower is uh, responding to warmth. That is, I as a human being am bathing him in a certain kind of celestial warmth. 
and he feels that and he responds to that and he thinks, oh, how nice, how wonderful that there's someone there who is appreciating what I am and who I am. So, with Jason, my first aim would be to get a feeling for his psychological space, which I may say I did. To uh, While I was talking to him, while I was with him, I was attempting to evaluate the degree to which he uh, is neurotic. You have got to be kidding me. I mean, what can you even... Look at these people who are roaming existing. They don't get any pub or press on the media. They, the media is just talking about fake news nonstop. Nobody's talking about organizations like Nambla being censored. No one's talking about this guy in this creepy sweater salvating over the molestation of children. It is absolutely unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Look at some of this other crap on NAMBLA's website. Psychologists have always held a diverse range of opinions on human sexuality. Ref I mean, reflecting the oblivious of their societies, some psychologists have stood firmly with the principles of scientific investigation objectively. I mean, this is just, this is okay, folks, in America. This is fine. NAMBLA can exist these people can read poetry about their love of kids. They can try to convince people it's normal for an adult to love a kid. It's just, you know, because the kids love the adults back because they don't talk about the mind control and the abuse that it does to these kids because they're under trauma-based mind control for the most part when they're sexually abused by these men at a young age. The men in their own head think, oh, they love it. They're coming back for more. It's abuse. But this is okay, right? Nambla, you know, you could see pictures of them. You know, this is back in the 80s and the 90s, sexual freedom for all. It got pushback back then, so it wasn't allowed. But I guarantee you, this is coming back into the forefront. I have no doubt that it is. Because look what they've done with the transgender thing. 20 years ago, people would have spit in their faces laughing at how ridiculous this notion was. Now, people are okay with five-year-olds claiming that they were born a boy, but now they're a girl and their parents go along with it. So soon you'll see these marches back. Sexual freedom for all. North American Man-Boy Love Association. I mean, this is just the garbage. The garbage and the filth that the, our, you know, people in our society don't even realize is going on because the media doesn't report on it. This should be stuff that's national news. This whole organization should be shut down. These people should be censored. Why? Because some of us have a difference of opinion. That's a problem. But these guys who are targeting the molestation of young boys, that's okay. They're allowed to have free speech. They're allowed to protest. They're allowed to talk. They're allowed to have websites. It's unreal, the double standard. Oh, and in case anyone out there is interesting, they're hiring, calling all writers. They're looking for volunteer activists to help continue their work and promoting pedophilia. They said that we're expanding our online presence and need fresh material on any of a wide range of subjects. I mean, unbelievable. This guy, here's his name at the bottom, Arnold Schoen. Research matters. The facts strongly support our case. Are you, I mean, listen to this stuff. These people are advocates for pedophilia. And the police aren't investigating any of the people involved. No, nothing going on there. No censorship. No saying, hey, you cannot be online promoting pedophilia. I mean, this is no different. I mean, what's the difference if some they catch Anthony Weiner or any of these guys with child porn on their laptop, which is absolutely disgusting. They should be locked in a cage and not fed for the rest of their lives. Well, how about these kinds of people who are promoting it saying, come on, let's get together. Facts strongly support our case. Their case of what? That you're sick freaks? That case? They actually sit here and they act like they have a case that they can sit here and go, well, we're, you know, you're born this way and there's nothing wrong with love between a, you know, a 50 year old man and an eight year old boy. It's disgusting. You see, folks, I'm reaching my, my boiling point here with all this stuff because it's just, you know, there's a double standard in our society of like what you can say, what you can't say. And I know they'll go, well, it's not advertiser friendly. Well, that's just part of the illusion what's advertiser friendly and what's not. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that are disgusting 
that get ads in it, okay? This is a, t- a, a full-on operation to target channels like mine and other ones out there. And I'll put it to you this way. Since my channel has started last February, somehow, I don't know how, but I guess people enjoy the content. I've gained 165,000 or plus subscribers. I'll tell you right now, the revenue that we make as content creators is crap. I made way more money in the real world, but I don't want to be in the real world. I want to be, you know, fulfilling what I believe God put me here to do, which is wake people up to this, what's going on, to be able to explain it and simplify it so people can start seeing these things for themselves. They can pick up a Bible and realize the only truth in this world is Jesus Christ. But since I've started this channel with, you know, a year ago from right now, I probably had 5,000 subscribers, maybe 10,000. I'll tell you this, the revenue then was crap. I'm making less off of the YouTube ads now. That's how bad it is. So as the channel grows, you know, in subscribers, it just continues to decline because they're not only unmonetizing because they're not, even though I try to monetize them all, they won't allow it. They're blocking it from feeds. And I'll have to do a video on it later because, you know, a lot of big YouTube channels have been pointing it out, what they're doing. They're rating videos R. They're not rating Nambla R. They're rating videos like mine R. And all we want to do is get back to working on these things, exposing these things. But this is just the extra stress that it has added to this entire thing because they're smoking us all out. So again, this is just something I wanted to point out. And I'm sure most of you already knew what Nambla was. If you're young and you didn't know this existed, I mean, now you know. Now you know how sick this country is, how sick this world is, knowing there's organizations like this that are openly promoting it, and these guys are walking free. It's no big deal. These guys can say what they want. They can have websites talking about how it's okay and it's normal for a grown man to want to have sex with a young boy and be in love with a young boy. That's okay and normal. Me saying that these are some of the symbols that the elites use, pointing out the you know Satanism and Crawley and all this stuff, that's not allowed. Questioning anything in the news, that's not allowed. It's ridiculous. So again, I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but it sounds like it's just going to get worse, which means that this channel is likely, you know, I don't know any other way. If I go to Vivo, if I go to uh, do it on my website, the problem is that there's no way to do it full time because I can't get advertisers to come in. That's what the, you know, the thing with YouTube is. They have the advertisers, so they get most of the revenue, but we get a little bit of a kickback. So this stuff is just getting more and more ridiculous. Uh, you know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this, maybe to the end of the month at this kind of a regular basis of how many videos I can make, unless people start supporting the Patreon you know, account. That's what people have to do for the channels that they enjoy. If you could just give $5 or a dollar a month instead of, you know, whatever, maybe a bad habit you kick or you know, going, you know, having cable or having something else, you know, a dollar to five dollars with the amount of subscribers I have, even if, you know, maybe everyone does it, 2,000, 3,000 people donate a dollar, then I'd be okay. But right now it's not okay. It's not okay at all. But more money is probably being donated to charities like Nambla. So I'm just frustrated beyond belief. I see this stuff, you know, there's so many things I'm trying to work on, projects, and this is just added stress on top of it, which is the, you know, it's probably the worst kind of stress. Just imagine you go to work every day and then all of a sudden they go, yeah, here's your paycheck. And it's, you know, seven times lighter, eight times lighter than it's supposed to be. It's ridiculous. So I don't know what to say anymore, but you see Nambla out there and you see the video clips and this is, this is the stuff that's okay. This isn't being reported on in the news, right? Shouldn't this be a lead in story every day until Nambla you know, explodes and isn't, you know, isn't an organization anymore and anyone associated with it's locked up, but no, of course not. Of course not. But <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so frustrating and sickening. I can't stand the enemy. I cannot stand it. It bothers me beyond belief. As most of you know, these pedophiles bother me beyond belief. The fact that, they, you know, it's not even, they, when they do get arrested, they barely even go to jail. I mean, it's it's just all so unbelievable what's going on right now. I'm beyond frustrated. Again, I'm rambling and I'm ranting. This has just not been an easy week for any of us. I'll leave the Patreon account linked up below. Not a lot of people have, uh, you know, supported it. I understand that, you know, it's hard for some people. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, if they're going to keep censoring all of us, and, you know, cutting the minimal revenue that we were getting anyway, then, you know, I got, I have responsibilities in this world that I have to take care of financially. Uh, and it's going to end up, you know, really just cutting the content and ha- not even more than in half, probably 
eighty percent in half. Uh, you know, because the free time I have, you know, to have to spend it with my family, and um, I wouldn't be able to, you know, research and make as many videos. So I'm frustrated beyond belief. This is just an absolute joke. I'll leave the, you know, I'll leave the link up for Namble if you want to check for yourself. If you didn't know they existed, I mean. Eh. I can't even focus right now. So I just want to thank everybody for listening to today's show. My prayers for everybody out there to remain safe, remain strong in your faith. God bless all of you and your families.